Hey guys, can I just say I'm in love? I mean, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Don't look away now. Since you're here, stay here. If you want to look around, check the video menu here or in the description box. Today, I will be sharing with you the viral TikTok Million Dollar Spaghetti. It is phenomenal, incredible, and absolutely delicious. If this is your first time here, welcome. Hi. Without further ado, let's get started. We got one pound of ground chuck on medium heat. We're going to add in one pound of Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage. We're just going to cook that until brown and crumbly. We're going to remove that from heat. We're going to drain that very well to get all the grease out. We're going to put it back on heat, add the ground beef back in the skillet, and stir. At this time, we're going to add in our beautiful bell peppers. We're going to start off with the yellow bell pepper, one-fourth cup, one-fourth cup of green bell pepper, one-fourth cup of red bell pepper, oh yes, and one-fourth cup of orange bell peppers. We're also adding one-half cup of chopped onions, one-fourth cup at a time. I don't know why I put my garlic way over there, but we're adding four to five garlic cloves. Let me get them way over there. We want to continue to stir and mix very, very well. Can you see how lovely those bell peppers are with all those beautiful colors? At this time, we're going to add in approximately 64 ounces of your favorite spaghetti sauce. We're going to mix that very, very well. Let's add in all our favorite seasonings to give it some flavor. Now, don't be shy with the seasonings. You know how we do. Uh-huh. Now, this time, we're going to taste it to see if anything's lacking, if anything needs to be added, if our seasoning is perfect. Ooh, wait, this is good. This is good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Here, go ahead, taste it. Taste it. Don't be shy. Here you go. The most important part of the spaghetti is the seasoning and the sauce. Once our water comes to a boil, we're going to add one pound of spaghetti noodles. We're going to add oil so it won't stick. Our meat is looking and smelling fabulous. I did have another small bowl. Our spaghetti noodles are ready, guys. So it's time to make our delicious Alfredo sauce. With our heat on low medium, we're going to start off with one stick of Kerrygold butter. We're going to constantly stir while we melt this delicious butter because we don't want it to turn brown because then our Alfredo sauce will be brown. And we don't want that. We're going to add in approximately two cups of heavy whipping cream. Constantly stirring, it's going to get thicker and thicker and thicker. There's nothing that compares to homemade Alfredo sauce. You'll never get that stuff in a jar again. We're just adding in six ounces of grated Parmesan cheese. We're going to stir that and mix very well. We're going to add in the same seasonings that we put in our meat, spaghetti meat. We're just going to stir. You see how thick it is? Oh my God, it smells delicious. Let me tell you, you guys are going to love this recipe. You're never going to make your spaghetti the old way again. Look at that Alfredo sauce. At this time, you want to put your spaghetti noodles in a large bowl, large pot, or whatever will hold it. And you just want to separate it so that the noodles can penetrate, that sauce can penetrate those noodles. You want to coat every single noodle. Look at that delicious looking alfredo sauce oh my goodness doesn't that look amazing and the taste is incredible let's start making our million dollar spaghetti pies we're gonna lay our first layer with our spaghetti meat just spread it out on the very bottom make it as thick or as thin as you like it next we're gonna add our spaghetti alfredo noodles Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. Just wait until you make this. I can't hardly contain myself. I love Alfredo sauce. I want to eat right now. Oh, my goodness. We're just going to fill up the next layer with the noodles. Alfredo noodles. Then the next layer is going to be a layer of the spaghetti meat. 
Doesn't that look amazing, guys? A lot of people have already made this, I know. If you would be so kind and comment in the comment section, what are your thoughts on this? And would this be perfect for a family function or a potluck, etc.? Do you see how we layer that delicious sharp cheddar cheese on there around in a circle? Now you can decorate yours any way you want to, but it's still going to have that scrumptious, fantastic, incredible, phenomenal taste. Oh my God. And I did put some parsley flakes and some basil on there. Yes, I did. You know what? Let's quit playing and bake this at 350 for 30 minutes. I don't know about you, but every time I have spaghetti, I must have garlic bread. Oh, y'all gonna love this. I thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Meet me downstairs in the comments. Please share this video with your family. Share this video with your friends, co-workers, because I think we did that. See you in the next one.